Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Georgina. On this channel, I like to show you my life, which includes makeup, skincare, food, lifestyle, all that type of thing. If that sounds like something you are interested in, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to be notified on when I post a new video. For today's video, I got this video idea from Sophie Louise. Uh, so I'll link her video down below. But I'm sure you may have heard this challenge um, before and it's the mixed up makeup challenge. So pretty much I've put on different post-it notes in, in this bucket. <laughs> yes, it is a pumpkin bucket. I've put every step of my routine into this bucket. And what I'm gonna do is pick one out at random and whatever whatever it is that is the step that i'll have to do so say like my first step is obviously foundation and say i pick up blusher i have to use blusher as my foundation in sophie louise's video she didn't just mix up her makeup she also mixed up her brushes so what i've done is i've put all my makeup brushes in this bag with just the ends picking out so i have no idea what brush i'm going to be using. so i'll pick one so like I say, my first step is foundation, so I'll pick one out at random and I would have to use this for my foundation. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you might get the idea as we go along. Obviously, like I say, my first step is foundation. I think I'm going to do the brush first, as that's in my hand. So the first brush I'm going to use is this very fluffy eyeshadow brush. And the first product... I'm going to use to do my foundation is trying because I wrote them on post-it notes so they're kind of sticking together but I've got one what we're we gonna get okay I've got powder I don't know if you can see that I got powder I don't think that would be too bad because there is such a thing as powder foundation but obviously the powder powder i picked out for this step was um makeup revolution the bacon block pa uh, powder and this is literally translucent so it's not going to show on my face so this is going to be my foundation and this is the brush i'm going to use I was just having a moment and I was sitting here and I was like I'm literally putting a translucent powder on with an eyeshadow brush as foundation and do you ever just question your life <laughs> I'm like how what life choices did I make for me to end up in this position <laughs> At least my face doesn't look so shiny anymore. I guess that's great. <laughs> but literally, there is no coverage because this is a translucent powder and it feels really weird to do my foundation with an eyeshadow brush. I guess that's what all I'm gonna do. I pretty much put that all over my face. Like I say, the only benefit is I don't look so shiny anymore. The next step is obviously concealer. And usually I use a beauty blender, but I couldn't put that in here because obviously the beauty blender would be right at the bottom. What brush are we using for concealer then? This is my bronzer brush, but I don't know. I feel like that might be okay. It just depends on what product I'm going to have to use for my concealer. So what are we using? There's two there. Okay, I ripped one off. <gasps> I got concealer! I got concealer for concealer. Yay! So I can try and give myself some coverage. And like I say, I don't think this brush will be too bad actually. I might use like the edges of it to sort of pass it in. But we got one product. Yeah! By the way, I'm using the makeup revolution eyebrow concealer in pores but under my eyes and i'm going to use the mua pro base full coverage concealer in 102 
for my spots and blemishes. I kind of want to like cheat and put this all over my face to give myself some coverage but I'm not, I'm using it just as a concealer on my under eyes and my spots and blemishes. So this is going to be the fun part, using this to blend this all in. Let's see. I feel like the problem is with this brush is it's kind of like that is not like giving the coverage it's taking away a lot of the coverage like i put some down here and you can still kind of see them i don't think that's done too bad under my eyes though but on my like blemishes it's sort of taking away the coverage this was really weird to do my like concealer with a brush because like i say I always do my concealer with my beauty blender so this just feels odd in general and there we go concealer done so my next step is powder and obviously we already know i'm obviously not going to get powder as my product but let's see what brush i'm gonna get so ooh, nearly dropped one then You've got to be joking. I think this is literally one of the smallest eyeshadow brushes I own as my powder. I'm gonna use this all over my face. <laughs> Please give me like an easy product to blend this in with. Oh, I'm terrified of what I'm gonna get. I mean, I'm happy because it's foundation. But I'm not happy because I use this to blend it all in. How is this going to work? My foundation of choice for today is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation in Light Porcelain. A uh, classic foundation. I've just put it on a little palette right there. I think I'm literally just going to dunk. <laughs> I don't... Um... I feel like this part's okay. It's just, how the hell am I gonna blend this in? <laughs> that took me so long and i feel like from far away it doesn't look too bad but up close i don't know if you can even see on camera but in real life all i can see is the swipes like because i can't this is not like like this is not designed to be found well powder this was my this was for powder and i feel like my face just looks like a like it looks really cakey and it looks like I've had my makeup forever. I haven't, it's just I've used this small eyeshadow brush to do my powder. <sighs> oh well, at least it's done, but that took me twice as long. <laughs> so, my next step is eyebrows. And like, like, like concealer where I use a beauty blender, obviously, with my eyebrows, I just use the eyebrow pencil. I don't use a brush. So using a brush to do my eyebrows is gonna feel really weird. But let's see what we get. Okay, this is not too bad. This is my highlighter brush that I use for my nose and my inner corners. So I don't think this brush is too bad. But let's see what product we're gonna have to use. That one's nearly falling out, so I'll use this one. I just saw an L. I'm gonna use lipstick for my eyebrows with this brush. Lipstick I picked out for my lips was the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Lip in All Natural Nude. 
So I'm gonna have some wonderful eyebrows today. I kind of want to just like paint it on with the dough for this and then try and make them neat with, the, I think like, oh. Uh. <laughs> you know when you get a really bad feeling about something, I'm really, I'm getting a bad feeling. <laughs> Now I have pink eyebrows, so that's fantastic. And honestly, I that was quite easy to do just with the like the doffer of this um, lipstick. But <laughs> I'm just gonna like use this to blend, I guess, around the edges. Oh, there we go. I now have pink eyebrows. Thank you, lipstick. Thank you. My next step is eyeshadow. And the first brush I'm gonna use is for my crease. So I hope, I've had a lot of my eyeshadow brushes already, but I hope I still get something because I, I have quite a few eyeshadow brushes. So I hope I get something. Okay, it is an eyeshadow brush, but it's gonna be interesting to use on my crease. I'm gonna have to clean it. And the product I'm going to be using for my eyeshadow. I do still have eyeshadow as an option, but knowing my look so far, I have a feeling I'm not going to get eyeshadow. But let's see. I got eyeshadow. The eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using for today is the, I can never pronounce this brand. But it's this one. I think I showed it in a video before. Uh, in Your Elegance Nude Eyeshadow Palette. And it looks like this. First colour I'm obviously going to use with this eyeshadow brush is for my crease. Mm, I think I'm going to go for this one. In my crease. what it actually wasn't that different the only thing that was annoying was that it's obviously quite like like it's not the most like comfortable brush or softest brush to use in your crease so it was quite difficult but actually I think it blended it out quite nicely which is good next <clears throat> brush I'm gonna use I'm gonna use for my lid I'm gonna use the same eyeshadow palette, obviously, but I need a new brush for my lid color now. A fan brush. I don't really know how this is gonna, I don't know how this is gonna go. This shade, which is like a bronzy rose gold kind of color. And I'm somehow gonna put it on this fan brush and then put it on my eyelid. I mean, it picked it up, but it also picked up the other shades that are like, that are right, right next to it. Um, I have no idea how this is going to apply to my lid, so let's have a look. But can you see I've got the other shades on my lid as well now? I mean, it's on there. It's on there. this up because it looks ridiculous just using the flat brush that I did my crease earlier and the same color that I used in my crease earlier as well to blend the edges uh, together I feel like I should just leave these here because that's what the fan brush caused. And you know, cause my look was looking so amazing anyway, that I feel like these just really add to the look with the lipstick eyebrows, the very blotchy and cakey foundation or powder. Um, yeah, this is my eye look. So my next step, 
is mascara and I feel like I should pick out the product first just in case I get mascara because I do still have that as an option but if I don't get mascara I, as an option I will pick a brush out as well to the eyebrow gel um I mean I won't pick a brush out because it comes in a wand anyway but the, the eyebrow gel I picked is the Beauty Bay brow fixer and it has like fibres in it <laughs> so I don't I don't know how this is gonna go. I have a feeling this might irritate my eyes, but let's see. <laughs> did nothing it barely even colored them i don't know if it's because this is quite like a dark brown and my lashes are quite black anyway so that literally did nothing at least my eyes aren't irritated which is what i was worried about because this like i say has fibers in it but mascara done next step is bronzer i do actually have bronzer as an option so am I going to get lucky? But the first thing I'm going to get is my brush. I already know I'm not going to get my bronzer brush because obviously I used that for my concealer earlier. So what brush are we going to get? Oh, meh. That's not bad. You know what? I'm not mad about that. This is my powder brush. So what products though are you going to be using as my bronzer today? highlighter I'm happy with the brush but my uh, product uh, not so much and the highlighters that I'm using today is the Beauty Bay highlighter in flash it's literally just a white very glittery highlighter I've just picked some up on the side of my brush and I'm literally gonna bro bronze my forehead Wow, look at that bronze. So bronzy and glowy looking. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, look at my forehead. I get shiny anywhere on my forehead because I'm oily. Now I'm extra shiny and kind of white just what we wanted. Next step is blusher and the brush I'm going to be using today is my blusher brush. Is I think this is the first brush that's actually correct um, so I'm happy about that but what product are we using? They're all stuck together. I've got one. Mascara as my blusher. Mascara I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara uh, in very black. So I think what I'm going to do is just apply this to my cheeks. <laughs> A little bit on my nose. <laughs> and then use my blush, my blusher brush to blend it in if I can. make all the mistakes go away <laughs> oh this is my blusher very blushy today I know looking cute feeling cute step is highlighter so what are we using for highlighter what brush are we using okay actually you know what that's okay for a highlighter but I know I'm not going to use highlighter as my product because I obviously used it 
as my bronzer. Um, but I'm happy with this brush. So what? There's two left. I'm still going to give them a mix. I've got one. What we're using as my highlighter for today? Bronzer. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. The bronzer I'm using today is the Makeup Revolution uh, Bronzer Reloaded in Holiday Romance. And it's just a very pale, kind of shimmery bronzer. <laughs> so I'm going to use this down my nose, my cheeks, my inner corner and my brow bone. You know what? If this was like, not like obviously, because you can see from the front it's that it's here. There's actually quite like a nice shimmer. Wow, look at that at the end of my nose. That is actually really nice. That is really cute. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I knew this bronzer was shimmery, but actually it's not that bad. The only place it looks really weird at the moment is my cheeks. But everywhere else, it's actually quite cute. Like, like I say, the cheeks are the only weird parts. But on my nose, my, like even my cupid's bow and everywhere else, it actually looks okay. And this brush wasn't too bad. It was just, it just was too big for my inner corner of my brow bone, but everywhere else it worked. See, my last uh, step for today is my lips. So the brush I'm gonna use is, Okay, that's fine. It's just a small eyeshadow brush, which I guess will work. I already know what my product is, but as you can see, as proof, it's literally my last thing, and it's blusher. The blush I picked for today was the MUA blusher, or matte blusher, in Rogue Punch, and it's just a very bright pink neony lip. I feel like this might kind of work, but it's going to feel weird because obviously this is a matte like powder blush going on my lips. So this is going to work well. It's giving them a little bit of a colour and the colour's not too bad. The texture is disgusting. It really like has made my lips really dry. Luckily, my lips aren't cracked at the moment because I feel like if they were cracked, you would see every single crack. But I mean, it hasn't really. There's not much of a difference, honestly. But there we go. This is my final look. I got this video idea from Sophie Louise, so her video will be linked in the description below if you want to watch her version of this challenge that she did a few years ago. And honestly, even though I look ridiculous, this was really fun to film. It actually, I, it's made me very happy. Even though, like I say, I look very silly right now. I'm happy. I'm glad I filmed this because it was a lot of fun on you, honestly. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell to be notified on when I post a new video. That's all I have for you today. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye from my very cute face. <laughs>